Hi, I'm Dan from Real Mac Software and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now, I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you this week, so rather than me give you a long preamble, let's dive straight in and take a look at what we've been working on. Now, I've put together this Real Mac site this morning. It's just the front page and um, I'll explain more about how I've built this in a moment. But let's start by building another page and I'm going to build the Elements page. So if we click in our page browser over here, now our page is empty and we need to go to our elements because we're going to build the structure up here. Um, and what we'd usually do is I'd usually take these elements and I would drop in a section and then you might drop in a flex box or a grid and I'd start adding things in and redesign it out. But there is a quicker way to do it that we haven't shown you yet. So if I go up here and pick a different pack of elements, I've got this pack here and Let's go ahead and build the site with these. So I drop in my banner and uh, or my menu, then I drop in my banner and we'll have a call to action maybe, another one, and then we want some features. So I'll drop that in there. And boom, we've already put together an outline for our elements page and that took all of five seconds or something. So what are these and what happened there? So these are new pre-built elements. Now, they're different to the advanced elements in that we've designed them and we've put everything together for you because what we realized is, and what we understand, not everyone wants to build their site from scratch. They don't want to have to design everything. You know, not all of us are designers and we don't have the time for it. We need to put a site together and we need something to get us going. We need, um, to have these elements just to be able to put these on and we you, you want it to be quick and you want to get something up and running and that's what these help with now this is just the beginning of this um, so there will be a lot more of these um, but we wanted to show it off to you to get your feedback on it so these elements are single elements and if I go over to the node browser you'll see if you've been watching previous videos, you'll know when I often go over to the node browser, there's a lot of items in here because it contains all the flex items and the, each item is an individual thing. But with these, um, I, can go, I can go in and I can edit the text here. So I can just you know delete that and write whatever I want. And I can edit these things and drop in new images, but all the settings for this image banner in one area. So it's kind of a honed down and refined pre-built element for you to use. And that's the way all of these are built. So if you don't want to worry about the nitty gritty, you can just use these and tweak them and get your site up and running even faster. Um, and that's, you know, that's the same for all of these. I can just come in here and I can change the title. Um, what you see is what you get editor so you know I could go and fill these in change all the text and, um, and change the colors and things and be up and running so these are very very cool and we think well we hope you guys are going to love these and for those of you who don't want to build it from scratch you can use these um, we're not sure what to call them yet the the difference between these and the those pro elements, those uh, more advanced elements you've seen before. So if you have any suggestions on how to differentiate uh, the naming of these, what you guys think, that would be that would be great. We've got a few ideas, but we but because this is new, I don't want to call them anything yet, because uh, often if I call it something, then it will kind of be set in stone and that's and that's what you'll know them as. So. Um, so, yeah, so at the moment, they're all elements and you can and they're all they all appear in this list mixed together and you can obviously filter them. Um, with the section up there or just type if I'm looking for a menu, there it is. So you can do that. Um, so let me, but let me show you the difference here again, just to really highlight the difference between these pre-built elements and our more advanced pro elements. So I've got the home page, and uh, this is uh, this is all that's required to lay it out. I've got the menu, I've got an image banner, and then I've got a little section here, and then I'm using two more of the image banners uh, with icons for those for the app grid. So this is 
the easy way to build the real Mac homepage. And then I've got another document here where I've used our pro advanced elements. And if I go to the node browser, uh, you'll see there is a lot more items because I've got full control over every element on the page. So let's go back to the easy one. So you can see this and I think this is simple enough for anyone to understand. Um, especially if we look at our elements page, everything's named just as it is. And that's really easy to see which section you want to edit and highlight it and the settings for it. So that's really easy. Uh, let's go back to the home page. Um, but when we go over to the pro version, you can see we've got a lot of nodes here because you know web design is complex. There is a lot of code involved, especially now compared to 20 years ago. There's even more code and it's even more complex. Um, but we've made it as easy as possible while still being advanced here. So you can see in my banner um, here, before this is just a single image banner and I can, I'm quite restricted here. I've got a title and I can put an icon in and a button and change how things look, but that's it. But when I go to the pro version, I'm building it with a section and I can put video, gradients, change all the, um, all the padding, the margins, you know, I can do anything in here really. And then I've got a flex box and a flex box allows me to lay out the items in a flexible way. So um, I could duplicate this, you know, so we can have two buttons or I can drop in another flex and have them side by side. Uh, it's really, um, and I can move things around, you know, if I wanted the button at the top, I could do that. Or maybe, you know, uh, where's the heading? Let's put that heading at the top. I could put the button in the middle. So the possibilities are endless here with these advanced ones because I can put anything in here and do anything. But with that power comes, um, comes a lot of flexibility and a lot of complexity. So we've decided these two, um, these two different style of elements should really work well for people just entering this and wanting to build something quickly and easily and don't want to get bogged down in the details. They can use those other ones and put together something really quick. And when they're ready, they can start using some of the custom elements and replace some of those simpler elements or continue to use them and just use those advanced elements for different types of layouts and things like that. Or if there's some, if one of our simpler elements, our pre-built ones don't cater exactly what they need, then they can build it themselves. So um, we think that's uh, going to be pretty powerful. So, and they're really easy to work with in the fact I can just, well, you saw me drag them on and, um, you know, let's duplicate this grid item here and it's just popped it in. And um, and because it's the image banner and because it's a grid item, I can just, these are responsive and it just flexes out and I've made that 12 columns now so it covers the bottom. And I can easily update this. Let's get some, uh, let's, we could make this for squash. So let's add in some things here and uh, I'll just edit this text. Uh, so there we go. And that's for squash. So. It's, um, and we could blur that because that's a bit just a bit distracting. There we are. Um, so even though I'm using some of the pre-built elements, I can mix and match them with these more powerful pro elements. So it's kind of the best of both worlds really there. It uh, allows you to put together sites really, really quickly um, because you saw how fast I put together the elements page. And all I've got to do is just customize those images so we think these are going to be pretty big and obviously all this stuff third-party developers will be able to build these things so um, everything will work with the Tailwind framework we're suggesting all developers use the Tailwind framework so that when they build these custom sections they all work with Rapid Weaver elements and that is one of the beauties of having this system like this is that everything that's built will work right in here and will work with the theme studio, things like that. So um, we think these are gonna be absolutely massive, these, um, these pre-built elements, because I think I'm gonna use them for the real Mac site, because why wouldn't I? 
because they're flexible enough and they give me the tools I need. And then for some custom areas, I can use the advanced elements and really tweak things like that. So yeah, so let us know what you think on those. How should we, what should we call them? What should the names be? Um, Cause yeah, elements, calling them all elements. I, I feel like they want to be slightly different. Um, just so customers know what they are and you know, so at the moment I'm calling them pre-built elements, but we'll see, we'll see, but let us know what you think. All right, um, so I wanted to show you a couple more things. I've got, so I've got this kitchen site here that I quickly threw together, again, using the um, pre-built elements. So it was really quick, just threw that in, put a background image in and changed the text. You can see how it's very easy to customize this stuff. And I've got another split image banner here. This is another pre-built element. Really lovely to work with because I can just throw it in. It's kind of like a call to action element there. Um, customize the image, change the text, link the button, boom, and it's done. Very nice. Um, but that wasn't why I came to this page. Uh, what I was coming here to, to go back to the custom elements. Now, if you haven't watched last week's video, you really, really, really need to go and watch that because that is all about custom elements. And it's absolutely mind blowing what you can do with them and where that feature is headed. And one thing I didn't get to show you last week uh, because it wasn't in there yet, we had it on the back end, but it just wasn't uh, visible here. We have um, error reporting. Now, um, there's an, a new button here, and this will open up the console, like the debug log. So if, I, um, if I'd made some coding errors in here, it would appear, uh, it's gonna appear in the log. I can change, when I change this value, it's just printing out the date and saying it, there's no errors here, everything's fine. Um, so we, we can see this is all updating and it's working. But if I was typing this out and I made an error and you know it can't compile and run and it can't work, we get, uh, we get this nice error here, which gives us all the details, which is probably more details than some people will need, but it does tell me there's invalid syntax at line 13. So I'm on line 13 here, and it would I can see that we're missing, uh, that the syntax is invalid, like it's told me, and we're missing a curly brace. So if I just pop that back in, then it starts working again, and it's now printed out saying that uh, we're all good. So you can see the log updates um, like that. And there, and you can see the time changing there on uh, on this. So it's just printing out the log saying, this is incorrect, do that, and then boom, we're all good, everything's good. So this, if you are getting into building custom elements, this will be an invaluable way to check your syntax there in the template file and make sure everything's good, especially if you're doing if statements and things like that, and you're looping over things and doing a bit more complex uh, using a bit more of the complex elements language. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. We are working on a lot of stuff at the moment. So um, I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up before we wrap this up, because we're, we're in a bit of a strange position in that we really want to ship elements as soon as possible, because we know everyone has absolutely loves what we're doing here and can't wait to start using it but we also want to build the best possible product. And I think as I said before, as well as building this for you guys to use, we're also building this for ourselves because we want the best website builder. And we really think what we're building now is going to be the best website builder on the Mac, hands down, no question about that. There are some more features we're adding and this delays the shipping of elements, you know. Um, so it's a fine balance and we're kind of at the moment we're erring more on the side of building in these extra features we really want because we know it will make the product better and it's quicker to do it now before we've launched than try and change the software once it's launched. Um, and those two things we have, um, we've pretty much finished it and I haven't shown it off, but that's uh, layouts, which I'll show off soon, hopefully. Um, and that will allow you to have uh, 
have includes essentially use uh, across your site. So you'll be able to build a section once and then use it throughout your site and it'll update globally. So it's kind of like PHP includes um, if you're familiar with that, but it would allow you to design a menu, design a footer, design anything and reuse that throughout your site and optionally choose it to be updated or not, you know, um, so it's really flexible that and I, you're going to love it when I demo it. It is so good and I can't wait to demo that to you. So that's one thing we've got coming up. And the other thing is local data. And that is something we didn't think we were going to put into the, uh, the beta. But it's become clear as we've built these things that that is a feature we really, really want and we kind of need it. So, well, we probably don't need it. Um, we could ship it without, but... I think it's worth the extra time to build that in. And I'm going to show that off in the coming weeks as well. So we've got two more absolutely huge features that I can't wait to show off to you. So keep watching these videos every week and um, stay in the loop. And we are honestly, we are getting closer to shipping this as a beta and for you guys to use it. But uh, there's so much good stuff in here and it's going to be worth the wait. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below on YouTube and more specifically on our forum uh, where we prefer the comments to be because it's a lot easier to keep track of them and have a bit more of a discussion with it. So let us know what you think and um, I will see you next week for another video. All right. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Bye.